YouTube guy. Welcome to Social Scrape Extreme. This is where um, I just actually upgraded this piece of software because I used to have a downloadable software. And hundreds of thousands of people have that downloadable software, but it's time to take it to another level. So that's why I call it a Social Scrape Extreme 2.0. It's pretty much a web based software. You need a domain and a server to run this software. Okay, so basically what I want to do, I want to just take you through a quick rundown of the software. First, I'm going to log into it. Once we log into it, then we will come to the dashboard. All right, you, you're able to scrape from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Flickr, Instagram, and others. Powerful, powerful piece of software. Next, we want to go to, we got decode email stream, which you can actually, for an example, if somebody put John Doe dot dot com, then you can put something in the place of the DOT, which you can actually pull emails from those that try to disguise it from being scraped. Okay, hope that makes sense. You can crawl the websites. Okay, you just do a new search. Then you put the website there, and you need a proxy. I'll explain a little bit about that in, the, in, a, in a few minutes. Put your website here. Click search. And they'll start scraping that website. Or the, uh, if the website have emails on it, it will scrape that particular website. Like Total Life Changes, for example. TotalLifeChanges.com, you put that in there, it'll start scraping emails associated with that website. Okay? Then you can stop it and so forth and so on. Okay? Crawl URL. Do the same thing. Once you crawl the URL, like this total life changes. I crawled these URLs and I got a few emails from it. Okay. Search engine. Okay. Look at the new search. You can put your keywords in there. Okay, you can use the proxy server because you uh, some internet service providers is starting to uh, block you from scraping. So if you're really aggressive in your scraping scraping efforts, you want to kind of be conservative. Like, like you want to scrape twice a day. That's for every 24-hour period. Okay, you don't want to do it 10, 15, 20 times a day. You're going to get yourself blocked for at least 24 to 48 hours at least. Maybe longer, maybe indefinitely. What you want to do, you want to play a conservative if you don't want to use a proxy. So if I was you, I'd do twice a day, twice every 24 hours, okay? You can actually scrape from Google, Bing, okay? Social networks, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Flickr, Instagram. So any social networks and other. If you choose other, you can type in a social network like MySpace, okay? All right. Then you want to, whatever email provider you want to scrape from, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook, Mail, Riff, Yandex, GMX, Inbox. Fastmail, Hushmail, email providers, or other. You see? Nice, nice software. So I had to get this out there to you all, my new product. Also, you can search in text, XML, or whatever the case may be. You can search in doc, PDF file. Okay? You can even do the who is search. Okay, new search, put in the domains, or you can what, choose the file of domains and you start searching. Okay, email validation check. Now, you want to be careful with this. I put it in here because sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Doesn't mean that the software had a defect in it. What I mean that sometimes it do, sometimes it don't, is depending on your, depending on the internet service provider. And it also depends on the uh, email providers that will allow you to validate them. A lot of times, email is not going to allow you to validate them. Okay, 
But I did put that in there just in case they do let you validate them. But most of the time they don't. Duplicate email filters. Okay, so if you got a file, you can choose the file, you can upload the file into this box and you can start searching it will remove, it will actually pull all the unique email addresses out of that list. Okay, for an example, let's just choose a file. Okay, let's go to downloads. Okay, it's trying to find my list. Pull this one up. Okay, let me find a text file. It doesn't want to import the CSV, so let's find a text file. There we go. Upload. All right, start searching. It removed. It got 87 unique out of the 836. You see, so when the software starts scraping, it's going to scrape everything from the web, and it may get duplicate emails because that's on the web. So what you want to do, you want to bring it over to remove duplicates, and you have 87 unique. Okay. So these are highly targeted leads. You just download the unique email onto your computer. Okay? Software works awesome. All right. So let's go to search engine. Let's do a search. Let's do Empower Network. Okay, search engine, let's do Google, network, let's do Facebook, email provider, let's do Gmail. Start scraping. Now it's scraping the emails, but for the, the sake of time, I'm go ahead and stop scraping. All right, download the email. Right now, I'm gonna upload, open the file. Some of the emails are scraped. It's gonna take a minute. There you go. Now remember, I just stopped scraping. I just pressed it for the sake of time. I just clicked on the button to stop it from scraping because I want you to see that it works. Right, it pulled some emails. It would have pulled more than this, but I stopped it just for the sake of time, okay? So it pulls it and it puts it into a CSV. Now what you could do, what you can do, you can actually copy. You can copy. 
slide it over like this. Copy it. All right. And you just open up. Notepad and just paste it onto a text file. Then you can save it. So you can upload it to you to wherever you want to upload it to. But the main thing you can upload it to your email duplicate. You can remove the duplicates by uploading a text file. Okay, just that simple. So you already have it on the text file. You can just save it. I'll call it email power network test. All right, then choose the file. Documents. And here you go. And upload it. Start searching for duplicates. Got 59 unique emails out of 65. That's powerful. Okay, then you can download them. And there you have it. All right, so this is a quick video on how the software works, and uh, I'm, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a, a couple of more videos on how to use the software a little bit more in depth, so be on the lookout for those. Thanks for uh, purchasing the software. If you didn't purchase the software, go ahead and uh, take action right below this video and start getting some good targeted leads.